Now you can also add an online store and sell products on your website. To do that, we're gonna go over to the shopping cart icon and click on add store. This will add a store page to your website and also add this card icon right here at the top right. And as you can see, we already have a few sample products. Now to add your own product, you wanna go back to the store icon and then click on manage store. To set up your store, first choose your country and the currency you wanna use, then click on continue. And this takes us into our store dashboard where we can start setting it up by adding our first product. So let's click on add product right here. Now there's different types of products we can sell, like for example, a physical product, multiple physical products, a digital product or services. I'm gonna add a physical product. First, let's upload our product image and then we can enter more information about our product or we can simply use AI to create some text for us. All right, so now we have a product title, a subtitle, a description, and down here we can also set our price. Currently it's set to $30, but let's say we wanna sell this for $50, or actually let's say we have a discount price currently for $40. Then we can scroll down and look at the other options right here, but let's just keep it this way and click on save. And now under products, we can see our new product right here. Let's go back to our dashboard. And now we wanna set up a payment method so people can pay us on our website. So let's click on add payments. And here we can see the different options we can use to take payments on our website. I recommend to connect your PayPal and also Stripe. Stripe will allow your visitors to check out using a credit card or any of the other options here like Google Pay or Apple Pay. Or if you don't have any of these options, you can also choose the manual payment option, which will allow your visitors to make a bank transfer directly into your bank account. Once you have your payment set up, let's go back to the dashboard again, and then click on update information. Here, enter your company information. Then click save. And then the last step is to set up shipping. So let's click on review shipping. And here we can set up the shipping zone where we can ship our product to. So for example, we can ship to the United States. I'm gonna just enter United States for this shipping zone. And then here add the United States as the country right here and then click save. And now down here, we want to check out our shipping options. So by default, we have a regular shipping option where the rate is set to free. Now, if you wanna offer free shipping, then that's fine. But if you wanna charge for shipping, then you wanna change this rate. So here, clicking on the three dots, we can click on edit, and then we can actually charge something for shipping. Let's say we charge $8. So I'm gonna type in $8 and click on add. Then we can also add more shipping options. So if you have an express shipping rate you wanna charge, you can click on add option and then add that rate right here. Now let's go back to shipping. And here we can now see the shipping zone we have just created for the United States. Now, if you also ship your products to other countries, you can just create a new shipping zone by clicking on create zone and then go through the exact same process again. Just choose the country you ship to and then choose how much you wanna charge to ship to that specific country.